Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the First Battle of Carithia, located on the Gallipoli Peninsula, Adrianople, Villiet, Ottoman Empire, in a rematch between British commander Aimler Hunter Weston and his combined 19 battalions of French and British forces of more than 13,500 men. They were going against the Ottoman commander Halil Simi Bey and his nine battalions of men on April 28, 1915. Having watched the dumpster fire of an invasion commanded by Aimler Hunter Weston, the bungling of the landing of his troops in what was supposed to be a clean sweep, and the loss of the majority of Allied supplies that resulted in only 28 cannons being landed and an untold number of machine guns lost, and the lack of pack animals that resulted in soldiers having to carry all of their supplies inland on their back. This meant the Allied forces couldn't afford Hunter Weston to be fully in charge by himself. In response, Commander-in-Chief Sir Ian Hamilton took over the strategy and directed Aimler Hunter Weston to attack the Turkish troops under the command of Hilal Sami Bey and his nine battalions of men. His orders were to secure Krithia and Akibaba. The hill of Akibaba was the original goal for the first day of the invasion, with its 500-foot tall hill in view of the peninsula itself considered the most valuable piece of land here by General Hamilton. Hamilton's goal was to continue north, removing Turkish defenders guarding the Dardanelles Strait, and move directly into Constantinople, securing the Turkish capital and putting the Ottoman Empire out of the war. The problem was that Hamilton left the decisions on how to do this to Hunter Weston, who directly commanded what would be the first of three battles of Carithia. The Allies wanted to push up the range with the British on the left flank and the French on the right. The Allies, however, did not anticipate the ferocity of the fighting from the Turkish troops. The first day of the battle resulted in both British and French being defeated, including the British retreat from yet again another Turkish bayonet charge. The only reason the British troops managed to escape as well as they did was supporting fire from the HMS Queen Elizabeth's main guns. Fighting was so bad under Hunter at Weston that the middle area of the attack was also a defeat for the Allies from a tiny Turkish force of less than 200 men. Hunter Weston, however, was bored with the attack by 6 p.m. and he ordered his men to retreat, leaving 2,000 British killed, wounded, and missing, and the French an additional 1,000 men killed, wounded, and missing. The Turks did suffer similarly with a total of 2,378 men killed and wounded. What was unknown to the Allies at the time, command of the Turkish forces was relinquished to Lehman von Sanders, a German officer, who would make the Allies pay for every inch of dirt they covered in the oncoming months. Join us again on next time things you should know, the Great War.